protecting the environment could come at a cost to the consumer. City and county leaders in Durham want to charge shoppers for single use bags. Yeah, a lot of places have done mm -hmm. this before. And CBS 17's Ms. Kinsey Stasco is live for us in Durham with more on this proposed change. McKenzie. Yeah, well, this would include grocery stores, gas stations, really anywhere you shop here in Durham. And if city and county leaders have their way, you'll be using one of these reusable bags instead of plastic. And if you do, it may cost you. Okay. They're considering a proposal that would charge you 10 cents for every single use bag. 10 bags of groceries would add an extra dollar. That includes plastic and paper, but exceptions would be made for people on government assistance. The city and county solid waste management departments would then collect the fees. The solid waste management departments would then use that money for uh, consumer education. Duke's Environmental Law and Policy Clinic helped create the proposal. They say the city of Durham spends at least $86,000 a year removing plastics from storm drains, streets, and trees. The toxins from these plastic, uh, from plastic debris, uh, break down and are released into waterways, including our drinking water supply. Uh, the microfibers and microplastics become airborne. The president of NC Retail Merchants Association opposes the idea. Every time they do a 10 cent charge, the retailer is going to be paying part of that, not only to the credit card company, but they're collecting and remitting that to the city of Durham or the county for free. Other states have adopted similar fees, but there's concern a bag fee here could lead to legal issues. The North Carolina General Assembly has not granted Durham County or Durham City any authority to do this. So it's unconstitutional and illegal, we believe, uh, for them to try to implement such a tax on its consumers. And lawyers for the city and county are working to figure out if a bag fee is legal. Once they do, they're going to come off with a recommendation on whether or not they should continue and move forward with this kind of proposal. For now, live in Durham, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. All right.